Tom steamer here, and this is going to get that residual glue off. And then I'll come back. I'm just going to do small spots at a time. See, up, see all that nasty bunk on there? I don't know if y'all can see it. But once I do this, it'll free that glue up, and I'll wipe it down. Yeah, you can see it there, how nasty it is. But uh, I'm going to do small spots at a time. I'll, I'll show y'all here in just a few more minutes. I'll now brought right, the guys. vinegar back out, and you can just, well, I can actually tell like a big, uh, better sheen on the, uh, on the drywall paper itself. Gonna have a real clean wall. I might put a little topping compound on it here and here, but uh, we've got a few places like that. But I mean, when you go ripping 30 year old paper off a wall, you're gonna have it. So, all right, y'all, let me get after it. Hey, y'all, I went ahead and got started on this border here. It's got a vinyl cover on it, and uh, you actually have to get that vinyl off. And uh, when I was doing it, I was scared that uh, I may have ripped the paper. But actually, mom tells me that this was that this is actually paint. But no big deal anyway, because this is going to be covered with crown mold. But uh, just wanted to give y'all a tip when you're uh, when you're taking this stuff off, this vinyl, and you're wanting to do your vinegar trick. It's not going to work unless you put like the uh, what do they call it, tiger paw on here. I don't like using it because I. I always heard it uh, puts holes in it, but you know, another buddy of mine, Steve, said it didn't, so. But anyway, I'm doing it the easy way. I finally got it started, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip this off, and as you can tell, I've already got that off with the vinegar. I'll show you how great the vinegar works. But uh, yeah, I just have to carefully pull this back. It's almost, feels almost like plastic. But uh, let me get after this, I and I'll get back. the border off about to there, so do our little, little vinegar trick here. What are you doing, boy? And here we go. Look at that. Here she comes. What I call Al Special. It's Canadian style, baby. Canadian style. Yeah, we've about wrapped up everything we can do on these uh, outside walls here, um, where we got the wallpaper off at. Uh, we've got a few scars, but you know it's just the way it is. Um, I've actually I took and. Uh, I used mom steamer and we steamed it and then we uh, came back with some uh, some more uh, vinegar and then I uh, actually lurk use this stuff called dirt X she had man it's it's some awesome stuff and uh, everything's off the walls it can be off the walls I reckon I'll come back with uh, some uh, lightweight uh, topping compound fill in my little divots and stuff you know but uh, we actually today we got a little busy too and we broke out to find uh, the multimaster and uh, cut uh, the threshold out here and I actually got the tiles off the wall and uh, we went ahead and we took it to the next level uh, went Canadian style on it got the border off um, got the paper off and uh, actually washed the walls from mom too while we were at it but uh, Hell, let me give you y'all a little, all a little peek of uh, uh, what y'all. Here's a brief glimpse of what what I really did this for. Um, plus, mom wanted to get rid of all that uh, wallpaper crap she had on the wall for about 30 years now. But uh, this is not finished. This is just you know a brief glimpse of what I'm gonna do. Gonna try to uh, trim this uh, this entryway out here, and then uh, we're gonna repaint everything. I'm gonna do crown molding all around everything and and whatnot. But uh, all right, man, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I hope y'all stick around. Reckon I'll holler at you soon. Alright, man.